Boys Brutter here, welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are, back in Lockport. Just going to head out of here. Uh, not that way, we're going to go all the way around here. We can fast travel though, where are we? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go down and try and get a little bit of um, redfish. Um, so let's fast travel down to the Baccaro Bank. And then we'll fast travel from here. So I thought I'd do a bit of long line fishing instead of... Um, Lobster again, and just see how this goes. I mean, it's been um, been pretty crazy. Um, the lobster and that sort of stuff. I just feel like um, we just change it up. We've done two episodes of lobster now, so go and do a little bit of long line fishing and see how we go. Hopefully, we can um, get a full boat. I've got ten long lines. This guy better not get in my way. Not oh, beautiful. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but um. Once we head this way, we'll stop, autopilot, get rid of this guy, max speed, done, uh, we need to look at our radar, well there's a ton of redfish here, uh, I need to actually stop driving, get this guy, and set, there we go, set it straight away. Come back in, click this over. We want to actually, we know where we are, we're on the marker already. We just need to make sure we stay on the redfish. So there could be a bit of distance between um, there's plenty of redfish back there, a bit of distance between this one and our next one. Not 100% sure how well they're going to go. Hopefully, our um, yeah, we can only set it four knots, so that's fine. Still, still fish here, which is good. So let's grab another bucket, throw it up there, ready to go. So we'll keep an eye on. Um, can I keep an eye on it from here? Just. Yeah, we're still getting plenty of redfish. So as soon as we can throw it, we we'll throw it again straight away. Within a hundred meters of fishing gear. Yeah, there's still a ton of redfish here. All right, throw it out. I don't think we can. Oh, we can't set that just yet. We've got to wait to get this out. So I did um, drop off all of our uh, our two crew members back at the crew house. They're back there, just waiting. I said I could come. I thought I could come out and do this by ourselves. I still got ten thousand kilos in storage. I think I might set five lines and bring five lines in. If we get two thousand per line, we should be pretty good. Um, I did also buy the fully upgraded mahogany hook and also the fully upgraded. Uh, knife as well, which is oh, 25,000 a piece. So he made fi spent 50 grand on that, plus 10 grand on long lines, plus seven and a half grand on bait. So we're, we're down about 75,000 or something. But um, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Hopefully we're going to start making some money back. Hopefully this guy goes somewhere else. Still some redfish there, which is good. Let's wait till we get a few more. I don't want to set it when there's just one. We want it to be two or three on the screen. It's two, there's three, that's good. Throw it out straight away. So a little bit of distance in between is fine. As I said, if try and keep it so there's at least three redfish on the screen. I want to continue to head this way anyway, even once we throw out all these lines, because I want to try and find where the last known redfish was. So make sure we're getting in inside that two nautical mile radius which I think we're way outside anyway as you can see like, like where did the redfish thing go uh, I think I've I think I've hit it and it's disappeared that's so annoying we should just say you sure you want to remove this icon or something not just get rid of it well there's some redfish there there's a couple there straight away that's good right so that's three lines in yeah, so there's two redfish there. Uh, what's that? Some silver hake. Right, some more redfish. Just jump out of um, jump out of the seat. Keep an eye on on that. I've got one. We want to get a couple more at least before we go trying to set this. Yeah, I want to see at least three on the screen. One, two, one more, then we'll throw it out. 
come on now. Definitely want to go for the shucker for punishment. Um, the next boat that we go for. That's that's a huge spot there. Right, let's throw this on our map. That's a big spot right there. That one was a pretty big one there as well. I'm going to actually move that because that needs to travel down to about there somewhere. That is a really good spot. See, it's like I should just go along and just mark all the good spots then come back and drop our lines. But I think... I'm hoping five lines is going to be enough. I don't know if it will be, but I'm hoping it will be. It's number four in. There's, there's six plus some cod. So that's seven redfish. If we minimize that, there's a ton in this area. That's really good. Another one. Right, throw that up onto there. Just keep an eye on where we're at. So once that last redfish disappears, keep an eye on it and see. Right, one, two. It's not bad, we just need a few more. It's not going to be good enough, I don't think. I think this makes the sonar in this game makes more sense than the one in fishing Barrett Sea. It just if it's not on the sonar, you're not going to catch it. That's what I feel as far as um, this goes. Maybe we should have had one person on the boat just setting, just baiting the lines, preparing the lines so I could dump them without having to run to and from the console. But that's yeah, we're getting to a pretty bad spot now. Let me drop a redfish there. That's the last one we've just seen. But that was seven days ago, that one that they gave me. So there should still be more. One, two, there. Yeah, smack that out. That, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. There's going to be a heap of redfish under this thing. Right, once again, if we go into the wiki. Ah, fishing tools, long line. Fresh results, blue, which I think is 1840, I believe. I think it gives you the exact number, but it's about 18, 18 hours, I think. Right, is that set yet? I don't think it's got, no, not quite. Alright. Rotate search light. Bang, go back to map. Let's clear this. Come back down this way. Get ready to go, and then we'll skip through. So 16 hours will be 18, just over 18. All right, so let's go through 16 hours. Change that, not quite. Go through one more hour. Still not quite there. What are they actually sitting at? 18.37, so it should be... Uh, is it toggle searchlight? Yeah, there we go. It should um, oop, there we go. Should change. Eighteen forty. The one more minute should change to blue. I hope. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Right, jump behind the wheel. Let's head to our first line. See, there's still some redfish below us. Hopefully we're in a pretty good spot here. Right, where's our lights? We need to put our work lights on out the back. Get rid of those guys. We've got no one up here helping us at the moment. Right, so we should be able to get all these in time before they go past blue. Just going to have to work out whether five... Five long lines is going to be enough to fill the boat. Right, haul. I can't remember how this game works, actually. Uh, the same as... Barrett Sea. There's only nine on this line, though, which is a bit of a bummer. It's probably not the best spot for us. 
I don't know. Does it go up to 15 as well, like Baron C does? I don't know. You guys let me know. Since it's been a long time since I've played North Atlantic. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping we'll at least get 2,000... 2,000 kilos out of this haul. With any luck. Just missed that one. 17.25, so yeah, we, we probably only need five long lines. Um, total of fish. The only thing we did get was redfish, really. Um, match time. I oh, know we got Pollock, Haddock, and Silver Hake, just a couple. Now, somebody asked me as well in Baron C if we actually go through and gut while they're on the boat. If it's, we've got 10,000 kilos on, if we gut, does that drop it down to like 8,000 kilos? I don't think it, I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think that's sort of implemented into the game at this point in time just yet, but we'll definitely have a look. Before we head back to port, we'll, we'll gut out at sea here and see what happens. Right, bring the long line in. So obviously if we had, if we had someone else doing the long line for us, um, we probably wouldn't get as high a yield as well, so at this point in time we'll just go solo, I think. It's just going to be easier for us to go solo. I know you guys probably can't even see the bloody fish, it's pretty pretty dark. The um, the light's really not working. I might try and turn that um, searchlight around a little bit to maybe shine at the back of the boat here, if I can. This is definitely harder than Baron C getting perfect. There we go, that's better. I'm just sort of trying to find the best way for us to make a ton more money to try and get like about 900,000, probably about a million dollars we're going to need for the shucker for punishment, which is going to allow us to go deep line fishing, lobster fishing, I think net and long line fishing as well, so we can pretty much do everything, except for maybe crab. Not 100% sure on if we can actually do crab or not. Right, done. That was three and a half. Oh, shit. That was three and a half thousand. Probably only need three long lines. Okay, uh, let me turn our search light. Can we... Don't think I can turn it back any further. Don't know how that's going to go. Probably not very well. Alright, catch time. Pollock, Silver Hake, Redfish. We're doing pretty good. More than half full, so we should definitely fill the boat on five long lines. Potentially we could do it on four. We are fully upgraded as well as far as storage goes. So what we could potentially do now is... Um, we could probably jump out of here. Grab a baited line, throw it on there, but not set it yet. But we could probably set these once we um, fill the boat with fish. We could probably set these back down again and then head back in, make the sail, and then come back out, and they'll be good to go. I'm just concerned we're going to have way too much fish on the bloody boat. Don't have an engine upgrade either, so this thing is going to be slow once it gets full. Right, 11, that's not too bad. I think the first was 9, 13, and then 11, so it's 11 got a full 15 yet, but 13 is still going to be pretty bloody good. 11, I should say, still going to be pretty bloody good. Not as good as 13, obviously, but we can still get another. Another couple of thousand kilos. I'll um definitely be happy. Alright, another good. Oh, we need some more perfects. I'm just hitting it a little bit too early, I think. Well obviously. There we go. A little bit too late that time. What we'll do now, why don't we um, get this on board, two, three, so seven, five, eight, nine, jump out of here and let's go.
Got some fish. Done. Exit. Is it still going to be? That's probably not a good idea. Because it's only one. Didn't really take much out, did it? Start. Yeah, so 7589. The problem with this too is the fish moves with the boat. Whereas I feel like in um, Barrett's Sea it doesn't. Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened then? That didn't even work. Yeah, that's, we're not cutting much actually, but it looks like. Oh, Jesus. Yep, yeah, 7589. Let's go. Mouse is going really weird all of a sudden. Okay, that's better. Alright, view. So, so it's still 7589, so it's not going to make any difference at all whether you gut them or not. Um, now that searchlight is pretty much bloody pointless at this point in time. So let's um, head back this way. This is why, I guess this is probably why we do need people helping us on the boat. Someone that's really good at gunning fish. Um, and then also somebody that's we can actually have um, set set the lines as well. Just sort of bait them ready to go, so that way I can just set it whenever. Let me actually look at the sonar. Oh, shit, let's throw one there. Why not? It's a pretty good spot there, actually. Could probably haul this one in, and then drop another line straight down, potentially, if it's still a good spot. Let's get this line thrown in. And then um, get this next one reeled in. Go from there. Right, so definitely a ton of redfish down here. That's really, really, really good. Right, let's put another... Let's put like three together because then we know that there's... A Decent amount right there. Alright, actually let's jump out of the seat quickly. Yeah, when I'm out on my feet, the mouse is really weird. Like it's better here, but it's from um from gutting the mouse isn't moving anywhere near as quick as it used to be. Alright, so I'll head towards this one. There's some pollock there as well. Still some more redfish that's still Plenty on the screen. Look at that, that's a really good spot. Right, let's try not to run this line over. Try and get in close, but not too close. It's so bloody dark, honestly. One of 15. God, it's a very good spot here. We're only going to need to set four lines at a time, I think, to get this boat full. I think five's a bit overkill. So the reason why I've gone out to target redfish too is purely because it's the only thing I could get tips for. Like I didn't have tips for any other fish or anything at this point in time, so the only reason why I'm targeting this, otherwise I'd have to go out blind and try and target cod or something like that. So I'm not even sure what season we're actually at. Right, 10 or 15. I think we're definitely going to fill the boat using this, uh, bringing this line in. We're probably just going to have to dump the fish in the, this last line, throw them all back in, which is fine, because we can set a line and come back out. We could probably leave it in the water, but by the time we wait 14 hours, um, by the time we get to shore and back, it's going to be well over 24 hours, so it's going to start going red, I think. Still gonna be very good for us. Yeah, look at that. Two four and two nine was lost. Right. Get some more red fish on here. I'll throw another line back out again. Yep, there we go. We'll throw another one there. We could probably get another one in between these two, I'd say. Get this fifth line in and then throw another one down. Pretty good though. 
Right, we'll get this thrown out, then we'll head towards this next one. And um, hopefully bring some more. Well, we're not going to be able to bring um, any more fish, fish in. Right, there we go. Perfect. Right, jump back out. We'll throw another baited line. Unbaited krill. There we go. Throw that back up on there. Oh, there's still a ton of fish here. This is a really good spot. But those ones could probably go and keep these ones here. As soon as we can set this line, I'm going to set it straight away because there's an absolute shit ton of redfish right in this spot. Right, set it straight away. Let's come into here and quickly check this. Um, habitats. Oh, there we go. Habitat 1 and 2 is high. So high concentration, which is really good. Exactly what we want to see. Right, we'll head to this. So this fifth line, it's already at 19 hours. I think by the time we go into port and come back, there's not going to be much on there. I think we should just leave it. Honestly, if we just leave it, we should be okay. Let's go finance, fish prices. We want to get rid of everything except for... Redfish, uh, 434, 434, 437, 489 at Digby. Oh, gee, where is Digby though? I feel like Digby's a mile away, isn't it? Yeah, it's way too far away. We're off just going back to Lockport or Dennis Point. Uh, Lockport, 409, Dennis Point, 434. Yeah, Dennis Point's going to be the way to go, I think. Right, so that's f so there's four lines in technically. Let's go into Dennis Point. Yeah, ten hours. That's way too way too long for that line. That line's gonna be out out like crazy. Right, why are we still moving? Uh, grab this. Let's go. Yeah, dock at Dennis Point. No. Let's look at our um crew members uh, where's our hand gutting four three so Rudy can come back out uh, on board hand gutting uh, what do I try to do here we go train crew Rudy hand gutting 184,000 to get him right up there Get him to 10, we want to go 6 levels. 39,000. I think that's what we probably should do. Obviously, we'll try and... hand gut now, myself. Right, it's going to take ages though, isn't it? 5 stars, perfect. So you really need to go... Like you need to go fast. The faster you go, the closer to the line, the better... Better you get. I feel like you don't need to. Same as Baron C. Don't worry about where the knife's actually going in. You just worry about where your um, cursor is. But oh, this is a ton of fish. So this is when I can have someone gutting while we're travelling back. Because this is a lot. Five and a half thousand. Five one. So we're not not getting through it as quick as we do in Baron C. Again, I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying if you go just above the line it's better but who knows we're doing alright we're still getting close enough like four four and a half stars to five stars so we're doing pretty good not going to stress too much about um, it too much anything above four stars is going to be good Awful lot of gutting we have to do though, isn't it? Just need a bigger boat with a bigger bigger cargo capacity. 10,000 is good for lobster, but it's not so good for longline fishing. Right, one to go. 
This is going to be tough. Ah, that's alright. That was a Haddock, I think this is a Pollock. Or vice versa. What the hell is this? Mackerel? No, Silver Hake, I think, isn't it? Done. Alright. Yeah, see, now our mouse is all over the shop again. Alright, Doc, we want to sell our fish, actually. Let's not. Let's go town, crew members, on board. Rest at crew house. Sorry, Rudy. Hate to be the pain, but you didn't do anything. So, why are you getting the money? So, 86,000. He's actually still getting it. He shouldn't. He's not even on the boat. Yeah, they're, they're not even on the boat. What are you talking about? Still getting his one percent, you bastard! Right, eighty-six thousand. The forty-two percent gutting, which is pretty good. So Pollock still the best price, eighty-six thousand. That's pretty good. Not as good as what we got before when we um did lobster, but it's a lot easier, a lot better. Let's go town. Uh, bar. Any tips? Pollock, silver hake. So if we look at our last sale, uh, sales, yeah, we definitely want to go do some Pollock fishing, I think, now. So Pollock's just over here, so we want to go down and grab this and then come back. I don't know if we're going to make that on time. That's going to be gone. Um, Alright. Town, let's go crew, crew house. Rudy, come back. Let's go train. Rudy and gutting. Get him all the way. Forget him, that's another 145,000. I don't think I want to get him too high. I think 10 is going to be pretty good. Um, don't need to do anything else. Let's look at maintenance. Fuel. Let, let's fill it right up. Right, done. Travel back out to here. God, we're gonna be we're gonna be pushing it to get back out on time. I'm telling you now. Yeah we are, okay. I don't think it matters as far as um we get this one last or not. Don't want these to go red, yo. Come on. Twenty-two, twenty-three. That was so close. All right, Rudy, you can go straight to hand gutting. Although, really not much for him to do just yet. But we'll head back and make these sales again, and then I think we'll target Pollock next episode and just see how we go. We're going to get a little bit more money, but not as much. Um, if we look at our sales, one hundred seventy-four thousand. So. Lobster's definitely better price. Um, but long line fishing is so much easier and it's so much quicker for us to fill the boat. I mean, we're still taking us the same amount of time, really. Um, actually, no, I think it was taking us longer. Was it two or three, uh, two rounds of gear to get what we had? What are you talking about? on the starboard side of the boat, my ass. Right, let's go back. Can't afford to be missing these. What are you talking about? Oh, I've got to turn left, don't I? Because I'm too far to the right. There we go. That was a problem, because I'm facing into it, not away from it. You've got to face away from it. Right, so 15 on this guy. This should, These three could actually probably fill this boat. If we can hit perfects, we should be pretty good. So we'll head back to Dennis Point again, make another sale. Probably, I want to try and pay off our loan as well, then build up some funds so that way we can get a bigger, a bigger loan. And try and get this shock of a punishment as quick as we can. And then you guys let me know, should we go back lobster fishing from there? Should we do a little bit of deep line fishing to make some quick money? Um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. 
So I'm hoping we can get all three of these lines in before they turn red. I think we should be okay. If I hit more perfects, I think I'll fill the boat a little bit quicker. Right, 13 to 15. Two more to go. See, I thought being able to set straight away going in and coming back out would be good. While it's not bad, it's probably not ideal either. So he should start gutting some fish. Look, five stars straight away. We'll keep an eye on that. As long as he's getting fours and fives, not going to stress too much. Um, let me bring this back on again. Just to try and help me see that bloody, bloody light. There we go, there's a couple of fours in there. It's really hard to see. Hard to see the boys. Yeah, see, as long as this is higher than this, I'm going to be pretty happy. That that actually half filled the bloody boat. That one line. Shit. We're not going to need. It's definitely not going to need that fourth line. Probably not even going to need the third line. To be honest. We're going to have to play this by ear. I think we're going to have to just do two long lines at a time. Like, that's already <laughs> half filled. Oh, that's a three. What are you doing there? Come on, now. Um, oh, bloody hell. Too fast. Um, if this gets us above 10, or gets us a full boat, I'm going to be a little bit I should have went for that line, shouldn't I? Instead of reversing. A little bit annoyed, but then the potential is we put down two and we don't quite fill the boat. Where the hell? We're nowhere near it. Bloody hell. We've just completely destroyed our our line and our boy. Just ran over the whole bloody thing. Right. Oh, Jesus, the boat's all over the shop at the moment. Good if I could have done this at daytime as well, but the game said no. Right, there we go. Hall. Perfect. At least I could have got a half decent screenshot. See, one of 11. That last one was 15. This one's 11, so I think two. Two at 15 will be good. One at 15, one at 11 will probably get about eight and a half, nine thousand. Oh, probably about 8,000 kilos on the boat, so we're still going to definitely need to throw out three. Three lines at a time. Right, let's get all these smashed in. We'll get the next one picked up. Then we're going to have to go and get that other, that fifth line from when we first went out. Obviously, it's not, um, not going to be very good. And it's going to be pointless anyway, but I don't want to leave it out there. If there's still any fish alive on it, we sort of want to throw them back out and Allow us to come back and get them at another another day, later point in time. Right, so 2,000 kilos here. That wasn't anywhere near as good. What's that? 7-3. Then we might actually have to rely on this one, but that first one was a bloody big haul. It really was a big haul. What are these? What is it at? It's at 2347. We can't really afford to miss this one. Uh, gutting, he's still doing pretty good. Eventually, we're going to move along and get the machine gutting and stuff anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. But if we can get him to level 10, make sure he stays reasonably healthy as far as stamina goes. I don't know why. Far slow, far slow. Right, I'm starting to slow down, that way I don't miss this bloody thing again. Turn to the left a little bit, that way it's the arrow's pointing away from the boat, not towards the boat. And 14, this is definitely going to fill the boat. So I think a 15 and a 14 
if we can get a lot of perfects, we'll definitely fill the boat. But I think we're going to have to at least throw out three lines at a time. I just wish we had a bit more cargo capacity on this boat. It's not quite as good. We can potentially look at another boat um, as a short-term purchase. I don't know. There was one that was only like 150, 170,000. I'm not exactly sure the cargo capacity. You would have to have a quick look at it. I think it was like this. this wasn't the selfie, was it? The sharky, maybe. I think it was called. Alright, so 9 of 14. Five more to go. Definitely going to fill the boat up with this line. So I definitely feel like the fish that you see on the sonar definitely make a difference on this a lot more compared to fishing Barren Sea. Something that they um heavily focused on, I feel, compared to obviously Barren Sea was just pretty basic. Right, yes, we lost 925, so that wasn't 928. That wasn't too bad. Oh, there's a level 2 there. What are you doing there, mate? Probably going to blame, blame the, the rough seas or the terrible drop driving by me. Holy shit. This is so annoying when it does this. I cancel all those. There we go. Alright, let's head over and get this last one. There's a whale just over here somewhere. Can't even get a good screenshot because it's bloody dark. I want to try and get a screenshot with the boy in the picture. Probably not with the red thing, but it doesn't disappear. Oh, there we go. Let's slow down. Turn. All right. So, only one of five, so there we go. There's not much on here anyway, but I'm just going to miss them all. It's not going to matter. I don't think it goes against our stats as a fisherman, or does it? It potentially could. I don't know if there is those sorts of stats in this game. That'd be pretty cool, something in ships at sea, sort of have your stats on catches made, catches missed, all that sort of thing. Let's quickly look. Uh, swordfish, no. Own boats. Yeah, there's nothing there about missing, which is good. Thank God for that. So we just missed a lot. All right, let's. Um, I think we need to just uh, to this point to give him the opportunity to get all this done. We'll just fast travel all the way back to Dennis Point. But then he'll probably get tired. I would say at some stage, and then either he'll finish completely or he'll get tired. Right, missions, no missions at the moment. Right, so there's still still a lot he's got to do. He's not getting it done overly quick. So the, the like being level ten out of twenty will be his speed, also how good the quality of gutting actually is. Hopefully he's going to go up a level, at least one level, heading back to port. I don't want to spend too much more money on having to. Um, and there he goes, too tired to work. Good on you, Rudy, you lazy bastard. Alright, let's just fast travel to there. It, it did pretty good. We got more than half done, I believe. Alright. Let's jump out, we'll get the rest finished. Oh, uh, close to half. Did like 4,000 or something. We'll show him how it's done, though. Except for that one, that one was terrible. Look, went too far through the cross. Done. Got 2,000 to go. It's definitely getting some good five stars. pretty good. 
starting to get the hang of it now. It's taken a little while, but getting there. That was terrible right at the end there. Left it a little bit short. Right, done. Some Olico Haddock, whichever one this is. Silver Hake, you can't even see the line. Right, done. Rudy's leveled up. There we go. Let's come back out of here. So Rudy, Rudy has leveled up. Let's quickly check him. And Gunning's level 11. Good. Went up an extra level. Sell our fish. Oh, so redfish has dropped quite a bit. And only 34% gutting. So definitely getting him the gut has cost us a little bit of money, I believe. But that's not too bad. All right, let's do that. Let's go back to the bar. Let's get some more tips. Don't need those. Uh, bank... Repay, let's repay both of those. We can borrow 130, but that's not going to help us. A fish market, a fishing gear. Uh, we can sell two of those. Let's sell another four. I think we're only going to need four. Sell four, that's fine. Let's go bait long lines. Uh, which one's which? Go on for Pollock. But I've got to look at the picture again. Fish prices. So Pollock is the one that looks like cod. It obviously isn't cod. So orange is what we're going for. Top left is cod. So orange. It's definitely going to be crab. Bait those guys up. Done. I think we're just going to keep the one person on the boat for now. We don't need to worry about nothing else. Let's go and get some maintenance, some fuel. Look at the shipyard quickly. Uh, it wasn't here that I was at. Max storage is 6,000. That's not going to help. Um, where was I at? I was somewhere else. I think I was over here at Lockport. Or the other boat. I'm not 100% sure what it was called, but... um. Anyway guys, what I'll do is we'll end the episode here, we'll head on out, we'll get some long lines put in the water for some of this Pollock, hopefully make some good money out of this, let's get him to prepare the gear, um, yeah make some good money out of this as well, continue to just fill the boat, come back and sell, fill the boat, come back and sell and then we'll hopefully get a big enough loan to get a million dollars or even a bit over a million and um, and we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far and have enjoyed this episode. If you have, as always, smash that like button. Any ideas, suggestions, leave it in the comments section below. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.